Hey guys, it's Minister Q, and um, I have a follower who is requesting uh, types of fast. I went on ahead and studied and promised I would just study, uh, excuse me, um, some that I found. So I heard of four. Um, the first statement it just gave online when I put in four types of fast of the Bible. Um, it first spoke of Jesus fasting 40 days and 40 nights he had it says that you know the study that they did on Jesus was he fasted from food completely and he just did water uh, it says that he was very hungry it didn't say thirsty in the Bible so they did that um, another one is called partial fast and I believe this is Daniel when he did the Daniel fast I think the Daniel fast was 14 days um, they abstain from, like, why am I always yawning or something like that? Um, they abstain from meat, heavy food. They did uh, vegetables, vegetables, and um, they fasted. I think it was, I believe it was like just vegetables or vegetables and water. And they stayed away from uh, heavy meats. Uh, third is called full fast, meaning... A full fast is nothing at all. Uh, no food, no water. Uh, those kind of fasts people uh, do, I guess, in a shorter, in shorter intervals, three, four days. Um, and then this was something. It said sexual fast, and it gave an example of a couple abstaining from each other and he gave the scripture of the body is not the woman's own and not the husband's own that the bodies belong to one another Sorry. <sighs> so those are the kind of fasts that uh, people have um, uh, what's important is our Lord now I do want to give a definition which I always talk about when you when you're continuing to go and you dedicate your life to God, um, that is no longer a fast. That is a consecration. That means that you have somewhat in a way purified yourself. And I am purifying my flesh. I am bringing my spirit on top of my flesh and I'm reading more of the word of God. And I am. I am abstaining from sin. I'm repenting of my sin a lot. I'm making sure that I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm quoting scriptures. I'm talking to God. I'm telling him how I feel. I'm giving him every insignificant thing. I'm loving my enemy. I'm sowing here, sowing there, sowing into people's lives. You know, uh, sowing blessings and reaping them to come back to me. I'm working on my mistakes. If I get into it with somebody, I go back and I apologize. If I get into it with somebody, I make sure I go back and uh, I'm speaking with them. If anything's going on in my life that, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm perfecting it. Um, and then I'm telling God how I feel and I'm telling God I'm sorry. You know, bless me to be better next time. Bless me to love my enemies more. Thank you for being in my life. You know, thank you for bringing me through the hard times. I talk to God about what I'm going through. If there's any struggles in my mind that are bad or sexual. You know, I, I, I um, ask God to prepare me for my divorce, you know, when it's finalized very soon. You know, I, I pray about everything. I pray about you guys. I've been away talking to you guys. I pray over my job a lot. And I've been asking God, and I ask God today, and I pray for you guys as well today and yesterday. And just pray for you guys all the time. Um, still sending prayers up for Andrea, JT, uh, JT's mom, and... Um, Mr. Brandon Smith and um, Mr. Ryan Amy. So um praying for all of you guys and I pray as a whole for the ones that are new uh, um, and my subscribers. And, you know, I pray for all of us that we be rapture ready. I cried out today and I said, God, I said, if there's anything that you can stand out in my life is that that you can bless me to be a one to have a heart and a spirit to follow the Ten Commandments. And to be a one who who loves you dearly and forgives my enemies and forgives. And to be a one who worships you. And to be a one, Lord God, who's rapture ready. Uh, to be a one, Lord God, you're pleased with. And that they you know, it's great favor. 
um, and to, you know, to always be close to you. You know, I pray, you know, to always be, you know, consecrated. And I prayed, you know, I pray this all the time and many days go by. Everything's just meshed together. And uh, I went to Denny's tonight. I realized that I didn't eat today. And I'll do that a lot lately. I'll just, you know, forget most of the time that I haven't ate. And then I'll snack, you know, there's holiday things going on, so I'm kind of snacking on a pecan tart with the pecan cream stuff in the middle, but it's not a lot, meaning I may take a few bites of something and then I'll go all day with liquids. And before that, during the day, I take my super collagen. If you guys don't know what skin, hair, and nail uh, powder is, it's amazing. And it also keeps the collagen in your body, keeps your body tight, keeps your face looking regenerative, uh, beautiful. That's why I look so young, being 34. I've been taking it for years, and I have my vitamin, my vitamin water, water, uh, and only had one meal uh, yesterday, and I make sure that I'm consecrated, and I make sure, and I feel my spirit man is strong, and for me, uh, like I said, to to consecrate myself and the fast is to not 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 to show off. It's it's hey God, I'm tired, you know, and I, I'm tired of my body being in control, and I'm swaying and moving to R and B, hip hop, and I see a brother, and I'm like wait, and I have no morals that are activating themselves and manifesting. You know, it's time out for the in and out, and it's time to grow up at 34 and be a woman of God who can be 100% who loves the Lord. And not only just say it, but live it. And how many of you know that it's very difficult without God? You know, I understand, and God understands, and Jesus understands, and the Holy Spirit understands what you're going through because anytime they don't see you calling upon them and using their name and using the word of God, they know what kind of condition you're in. They know that you need a mayday, mayday emergency 911. And they're standing on the sideline going, use my name, use the word of God so I can fight for you the way I need to. Of course, I protect you a lot from most of a lot of things, but I want you to have the full armor. I need you to have all of Ephesians 6, you know, and, and one of those armors is to pray without ceasing. You can tell I'm tired. So, you know, for me in my life, I want my flesh to die. My Me and my pastor were on the same page. She said the same thing. She said, you know, God is killing your flesh. It's got to die. And carry God with you in every insignificant thing. I don't care if you just finish tapping somebody out. I don't care, ladies or men, women of God, who are cheating on their spouses or you're single and you're fornicating. You know, after somebody taps you out, you better go and pray. And repent and you better talk to God and tell him how you got this sin and you starting to get a godly conviction that he's before you omnipresent and that you you know you you want change and begin to have change brought and you you know surrender and when you feel those times to pray like that do it and tell God how you feel and how you feel like the enemy is always somewhere close to destroy when you get close to God that you know there's always distractions ask God to help you with your distractions <clears throat> 